What are you doing from here? As interested I, as I am at looking for any more gems, I'm not really interested, so I'm going to go past. As interested as you are, you're not going to do it? Correct. Um, the dice up thing and thing would take up too much time, and uh, I don't know, not, not worth it. Oh, yeah, because it's going to take you a while to dissect it and find all the gems. Yeah. Yeah, it is an 80-foot-long worm. Yeah, if, if, if it was poop again, you know, that that's like five minutes work. Going through an entire purple worm. Yeah, that's this is a big fun. cavern. Jesus. I'm telling you, there's a purpler room somewhere. Yeah. Is this like there's the definitely a sea monster in there? We should go in there? Seeing something over here. Is that a tunnel? No, we lost the other two. Nope. Uh, hold up, hold, hold up, Xander. We lost the other two. Xander, it's hold up. Xander, come back. There's Goodbye, nothing. Xander. This Farewell. is a big ass fucking cavern. Holy okay, there shit. we go. Oh, is this a is this a tunnel? Yeah, I'm not comfortable standing in the middle of that. I mean, better that than to get ambushed. You're an archer, aren't you? Yeah. So sketchy as fuck. This is such a weird tunnel. I'm trying to figure out where this one goes. I think it just takes me back to where you guys are. Where are you guys? Oh, you got a oh, Okay. But yes, it does take us back to the open area. Okay, well, that's interesting. Check to the north, I guess? Yeah, I, I guess so. See another small indent here? This is tiny. Is this squeezing? Uh, not really. Okay, cool. We definitely don't want to fight in there, but it's not a a penalty area. Fair. I think it has to be less than half of your square before you have to squeeze. Okay. That's the reason I allow oh. you to use uh half a square. Okay, Xander, when you get mm. there, you can roll a perception check. Twenty-three. Okay, a purpler worm bursts through the wall. Is it a purpler worm? It is a much purpler worm. I think okay. the border is actually purpler. I'm sorry, what? Is the border actually purpler, or am I just seeing things? You're on crack. It's okay. exactly the same token. 30 <laughs> for my attack again. What a load of shit. I'm just going to try it again. Nice. And flat for the right. Sorry, what? Uh, I assume I failed the check. So flat for the AC. What what are you talking about? Um well it attacks me, right? Is am I, is it against my flat footed no, AC? No, you're not, or... not flat footed. Oh, okay. Thank you. It's not hard to hear a gargantuan purple worm uh burst through the tunnel. It's only a DC okay. twenty. I think you almost can't fail it. Yeah, you rolled a three on that check. One. Okay, then we're on to initiative. Uh, 
I think if I was going to redesign this monster, I would definitely give it a lot more hit dice. I don't think anything gargantuan should have less than 20 hit dice. I feel like the danger in this creature is getting swallowed. Uh, yep. If it fucking hits you. I think I forgot to do my grapple the last time that it did attack you. The one time it bit you. Yeah, I hit for a 67, but I never grappled him. Yeah, You I did, but I have freedom of movement, so... Oh, you also okay. have freedom of movement? Yeah, um, I had offered that to everyone, but everyone wanted to curl of sirens instead. So I was the only one that got freedom of movement. Oh, from your Patsy? My companion, yes. Patsy, how dare you. Sounds like an accurate representation. Oh, dare you all. He is a valued and trusted companion. Compatriot. Yes, yes. Okay, Xander, you're up. Uh, how accurate will, am I if I do full power attack? Let's find out. Fairly accurate, okay. Oh, I'm not able to select them, sorry. Oh yeah, copy of the same token. For those seeing purpler worms. Now you need to gaslight me by throwing a bunch of purple worms at us and making it like two points purpler every time. Yeah, I can put the token in, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, paint and make it purpler. <laughs> That's the turn. Okay, Ryan, you're up. Alrighty, uh, I'm going to five foot back. Move back to here. And uh, uh, what's his uh, spell resist? 23. Okay, 30, 31. So I make it, and he takes 45 points of damage. I'll do something this combat. You go, girl. Yep. Proud of you. Ferenc, you're up. Uh, no one's damaged you out of the way. Okay, Vanwa. Uh, six hits and a crit. No. Right. But no confirm. Yeah, the 10 armor class points lesser makes it uh, a joke to hit. And it's got lower DR, so your hits actually do something. Oh, so close. <laughs> You're my hero. Nice. You keep popping your uh, uh, push to talk there, Cody. My bad. Did anyone else hear that pop? Uh, very silently. I was on this one for it. That was, that was probably me just bumping my table because I don't have push to talk on. Yeah, it was just your mic turning on and turning off. And it just makes oh, gotcha, of okay. A uh, pop filter pop when it happens. Okay. Oh, definitely going with the smite. Fair. 
Okay. Did I roll? Oh. I rolled the attack without the smite because I thought I hit the double attack. Okay, so he misses with the stinger, but he smites with the smitiness. Fair. So 58 points of damage. Damn. Yeah, I think I'll retool these as being huge instead of gargantuan. It covers a good area. It's hard, almost impossible to flank. Yeah, it's harder to flank, but at this level, this is one of the things that uh, when you're doing CRs, that I'll, is... I'll, just, I'll come out of delay and heal Xander with the okay. uh, closed wounds. But things like poison. It does really nasty poison, but delay poison's a second level spell. So if you even have the slightest inclination that you're going to face something with poison, you would have delay poison on you. And if you don't have delay poison, you should have neutralized poison as a panacea. So it's really not that significant of an effect. Yeah, that's fair. It does a bunch of damage, but again, it's not uh, even comparable to the dire bear. Okay, then we are back to initiative. For the two seconds that he will survive. How late are we going tonight? Standard time for me. Yeah, same for me. I got shit I gotta do tomorrow. No worries, we just have an hour left, and I'm only 12 minutes into a video, so that's kind of crappy cut. Uh, do we have any games this upcoming week? Um, this is something I wanted to talk to you guys about, because Ferenc mentioned the... Uh, back-to-back -back aspect um xander i assume that the monday that we do doom you're not available on that wednesday um or vice wednesday versa. or well ferentz doesn't want to do back-to-back -back games so i want to do monday and wednesday and tuesday as opposed to monday tuesday or tuesday wednesday yeah, that'd be nice well, for me. Oh, okay. Um, we we could always do Monday one week, Tuesday the next. Well, that's already where we are. Okay. Uh, Let me... Uh, Triangle of Strife will be next Tuesday. Uh, whether we go every week from there or bi-weekly is up to you guys. Um, but that... The week that we do Doom... We would have back-to-back -back games Monday and Tuesday. Uh, and if we do games on Wednesday, which we were talking about doing... Uh... Oh, yeah, Joe's not available for those. So never mind. Yeah, and unfortunately, when I'm available for Doom on Monday, I would close on Wednesday. So I wouldn't be able to. Although the Tuesday-Wednesday thing would still be viable for doing something else. But... I think Wednesday without Joe or Ian means that we can't play either game. Yeah. I was just hoping to have something set up for Wednesday, but I guess it's not going to happen. Do Tuesday one week, uh, Monday the next week, and if you guys want to do extra Tuesdays, just let me know. 
you're free most of the Tuesdays, aren't you, Xander? Um, yeah, at this point, I'm free on, uh, on Tuesdays. Or I should be free every Tuesday. Because I'll either be off or I open. Fair enough. Okay, Ryan, it's your go. Uh, I'm going to delay. Xander, you're up. Well, it's dead, but I'm still doing the damage. Yeah, it only had five hit points. If you hit it, it dies. It's the principle of the map. Oh, look at all those greens. It's just a sea of green. Yeah, this thing's fucking dead. It's dead twice so far. Xander is just fucking lethal, man. Okay, I'm done. Almost three times. Holy fuck, man. I see. Did over a thousand points of damage to it. A Christmas song, but I see fields of green. Purple everywhere. What were those purple worm or purple smurfs called? They were like smurfs or something? Oh yeah, the evil smurfs? No, they weren't evil smurfs. It was a completely different show. They were just purple smurfs instead of uh blue smurf. Oh, I've never heard of it. Okay, what are you guys doing from here? Well, I don't see a path. I think we hit a dead end. We hit a dead end. So it looks like we gotta go all the way back to the A for artifact. No, we had a few other paths. There was oh, the bear. There's one up here. Where? Up here. Oh, uh, that was, I think was the dead end. Oh yeah, it's a dead end. Have we searched around in the lair? I'll cast the detect evil. Okay. Uh, you do not notice a difference in the presence of evil. All right. I'll keep concentrating on it and scan over like the whole big room. Okay. Including all the bone piles and whatnot. You never know. Yep. No, you definitely want to uh, search around. Detect evil would be an excellent way to find the eye once you get close. If you're within 60 feet of it and you cast Detect Evil, it'll knock you out. Yeah, assuming taking my time searching the big room, I don't see anything, I'll let it go. No, there's nothing else in this room. I'll use some pearls of power, because why not? Okay, I guess we'll take... I think there was another route, wasn't there? Um... It was the south route we can try. South I'll wait here. I'm moving, hold on. Oh. There we go. Um, this doesn't seem familiar. I guess we can check what's over here. 
Ah, I see Vanna. Okay. There's a single bone here. That's ominous. Just one bone? Isn't it? It appears to be one bone. Yep. I'm going to ask Vaughn what he makes of this bone. Uh, it's a bone. From anything? Is this from a millennia old? Nineteen. Looks like a bone from some kind of mammal. Fair enough. Then while you think it's a bone from uh, a deer, probably like a thigh bone. Mm. What's a deer doing here? I guess uh, from the purple worm, I guess. Okay, I'll leave it alone. Hey, look, another single wow. bone. <laughs> We need no. to annoy John by checking every single lone bone. I didn't Look, even that notice did... that this map had single bones on it because uh, that's kind of weird. There are lots of places where there's piles of bones and different assortments of bones. Uh, and the map set comes with some individual bones, but I didn't didn't even notice that there were individual bones on the map as a base. Yeah, it's interesting. Man, so many dead ends. This is not where we want to be. It's up to the right. There's got to be a better... Oh, no. Now we're going back where we came from. Wait, we're going back where we came from? Yep. Yeah. No, we're towards the worm layer. Yeah, what is this? I think that's the bear, right? I think so. What if I go this way? Nope. Just Do we even same. think there'd be anything obvious about where the eye is? Like, could it literally just be in any random b pile of bones? Um, you haven't encountered anything particularly intelligent. So, anything in here that you've encountered so far either would have uh, disregarded the eye or pooped it out. I mean, for all we know, the previous Scion survived as, like, a zombie or something, so, I mean, you know, maybe just stuck, unable to move, I do. That'd be funny, we come across some fucking insane orc who's trapped down here for however many thousands of years, trapped beneath a rock or something. Yeah, you don't have any details about how the uh, scion of uh, Grumpsh died, so it's possible he could be imprisoned down here somewhere. That would actually be much worse than uh, finding the eyes, finding the eye and the scion. I mean, technically well, speaking, like, his muscles of atrophy. We we know that he can't really die. Or that it's very, very difficult. Yeah, but that's one of those invincibility type of things where it's like, yeah, Xander's basically invincible. To most mortals, he would seem like he's unkillable. Yeah, fair. Have we gone this direction? We have not gone left or right. The question is, do we want to go? Left or right? Uh, I say we go right. I mean, I agree with you. East is the correct decision. I'm sorry. East is the correct what? Is the correct decision. Oh, oh, oh! You just rolled. Iron Jesus has spoken. Praise be.
Or in Jesus do be speaking. Long, narrow passageway. Very long, narrow passageway. Is there anything unusual about the passage? Um, no, it basically just looks like another purple worm tunnel. Fair enough. Is this the top corner that we're leaving into? Yeah, this is the edge of the map. Do we want to check the other direction or do we want to keep going? I mean, we can check the other direction, but at this point, we're just, it's going to be a gamble either way. Yeah, but like, we don't even know if we're going in the right direction. We could be going in the opposite direction, but we won't know until we check it yeah, out. but you might not have the option to turn around and check other directions right away. True. Yeah, I mean, either way. This is already a fairly long tunnel with no choices. Yeah, that's very true. You walk all the way to the end of it and then realize you didn't check all those tunnels back there. You got to walk all the way back there. Yeah, we might as check the other ones. yeah, we might as well go check. We know this one goes somewhere else. We know this one's not a dead end. Well, from our characters' perspectives, it, it might be a dead end still. Yeah, the, fair enough. Definitely going to be lots of dead ends in underground tunnels. But this tunnel seems more like a uh, like a highway through the through the mountain. You have my light is 40 feet or 80 feet? Sorry, what? Do you have the light on me is 40 feet or 80 feet? I have no idea. Oh, it should be 80 feet. 20, uh, 40 feet bright and 40 feet dim. I probably switched it on one of your tokens. Yeah, this one's still on 20, 20. Just depends on where I got the token from. Okay, when you get there, Xander, or you can just walk right up to it. Uh, sorry. As you walk by, the uh, dire bear charges you. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I didn't say I was stealthing. Damn, you're right. That will hit. Yeah, the Dire Bear has 50% more hit points. I guess not quite 50%. And has, almost. Has 50 more hit points. Now it is a higher CR, so that's a factor. But it has higher spell resistance, higher... Uh, Cold and fire resistance, higher DR, better smitiness. And all of its attacks are better. Is this going to be a smite attack? Uh, no. Fair enough. This is just a claw. Twenty-four points. That's a very nice claw. 
It is. And then we can go to initiative. Ah, uh, Venwa, you're first. You might almost have line of sight to it from there. I can see more than half of it. Well, that's only cover then. Yeah, the Dire Bear's AC is 37 versus the Purple Worm, which is 26. That's a pretty big uh, shift. I don't think they gave the purple worm the extra AC for being gargantuan. It's like plus nine just for being gargantuan. So it's 40% concealment or 100%? No. It's 50, not any right? concealment. It's uh, cover, which is plus four. Or you can move up to not have cover. I think you're going to have a hard time getting into a position without cover. What you doing, Vanois? Uh, crit fishing. Fair enough. Yeah, it's that's, stal my that stalagmite is going to butcher you pretty much anywhere you stand. You'd have to move through uh, his threatened area to get into that back cave. I did get one crit. You got two thirty-eights. Well, I mean, I confirmed on one. You only rolled one confirm? No, if you mouse over, it's an 18 and a 4. Oh, okay. Is this a keen bow? No. But he's got the enhanced critical thing. Oh, he has improved he and on, enhanced crit. Okay. Yeah, he has it. I forgot. Improved crit, I think it's called. So it crits on a 19. Yeah, very nice. That's it for me. Although you don't get the plus five on the 19. So those would still be misses. I get reduced cover from Marksman. Oh, okay. That is a nice ability. Yeah, I had to look it up since it's never really come into play yet. You can blame Sean for that. I love Obscure Rules. <laughs> I, I love them too. I just I never played the miniature game, so I never really got into all of the intricacies of uh, the board. Like I went from theater of the mind in second edition to playing on a grid in third edition, and we just used the grid to determine whether or not you're flanked and shit like that. The three point five cover rules are actually pretty sensible. Yeah, no, I don't have any problems with the rules. They make a lot of sense, and it. It's just a matter of knowing what they are. And it also helps balance out ranged attacks because ranged attacks can be quite brutal. But if you put enough uh, terrain in the way, it really nerfs the ability to stand back 100 feet if you're in a forest and there's trees everywhere. Yeah, it also it, I mean, it's extremely relevant in situations like that orc camp where there's just like a lot of objects in the way. 
but uh, I, I can totally understand why you'd want to simplify that away. Well, it wasn't a matter of simplifying it away. It was a matter of just being ignorant to the rules. Like, I started DMing uh, third edition after playing one game, one or two games. So I didn't even have a firm grasp of the changes in the rules when I started DMing. And it's only when players bring things up that I go and look up what the rule is for that. It just happened you're one of the few people who play third edition who actually played the miniatures version of it. I have so many miniatures. I have hundreds of miniatures myself. I just never played the actual miniature rule set. Fair enough. I think I have the miniatures book. If not, I have it in the library. Sorry, what was that? I was like, I have the digital copy of that one. Yeah, I know I have the digital copy, but I think I actually have the original uh, book as well. But I mostly grabbed it for the uh, adjacent rules, like prestige classes and other shit like that. Spells and feats and so on. Monsters. That's where the Nothic is from. Okay, Orion, what are you doing? Um, let me see here. I think I can see a sliver from right here. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Eh, it's got a hundred. Uh, it has two fourteen left. Yeah, I'll do something. D twenty. That'll pass. I'll pretend to be part of the group. Minus forty five. Uh, I fucking hit the damn button again. What was he at? Does somebody remember? He was at like, what, 213? Sounds about right. It was two something. I'm not sure. Why did he go back up to 312? Because I hit undo to undo your post, and then I, it didn't come up right away, so I hit it again. So, yeah, it was 213. Okay. So, 213, enter. Hit it again. Minus... 45, enter. All right, that is my turn. Xander, you're up. Wait, why'd the bear move? The bear moved because I undid his action. Ah. One of the actions that I undid was the hit point total, and the other one was him moving forward. I got it. You alive, Xander? Yeah, sorry. I'm scratching my head. Um. Can't play. Scratching my balls. I said I, thank you. Sorry, I didn't realize you meant the head of your dick. I was going for the more broad categorization. And... That's it. And then it's mauling time. Oh, now he'll smite you with his uh, bite of doom. Ah, fair. Oh, look at that. Really sucks. Uh, A2 and A3. Sorry, what did you say? A2 and A3. Oh, yeah. Should have smited with the first claw. Just arbitrarily. (laughs) Uh, So the claw does 2d6 plus 16. The bite does 3d6 plus 16. And then that one has an extra 18 point or 20 points on it for the smite. 
So 20 and 43. Dang. Okay. Yeah, he really fucked you up on that one. He did. Okay, Ferentz, you're up. Uh, I will move up. And I will very close wounds my wounded ally uh, for 36 and 22. 46, you said? 36. 36, thank you. And that's my turn. Okay, then we're back to initiative. 